So reducing your exposure to people who are sick and social distancing, staying away from people who are sick or may be sick, and that might be staying away from things like movie theaters or churches or places where people gather, and staying away from them when you're ill as well. So having preparedness supplies at home and not having to go shopping for flu medication or not having to go to the doctor or not having to go to get food because you've run out, being prepared at home with food and water and medications and other supplies so that you can stay in and get well. Hand washing is another real key so that you're not taking germs from your hands to your face. Frequent hand washing, using hand sanitizer if, if um, soap and water isn't available, keeping tissues available and learning to sneeze into your elbow instead of into your hands so that you're not spreading germs that way. And what are some ways in the uh, Red Cross training that you're providing, are you encouraging companies to help prevent the spread of germs in the workplace? Well, we're, we've been offering a course to companies and they can become leaders in that course so they can purchase the course materials including a video and a PowerPoint presentation as well as the leader guide and the handouts. So it's, it's like a complete program and they can become a leader by self-studying to the course materials or coming to a class to have us orient them to the course materials and then they can go back to their companies and teach the course. That's one option. Or they can hire the Red Cross to come in and conduct the course in their company. Great. And besides the hand washing and things like that, are there any lifestyle preventative measures that people can take to prevent getting the flu? Well, the other key is to get a um, seasonal flu vaccine and then to elect to get the H1N1 vaccine when it's available. And uh, also staying healthy in terms of getting plenty of sleep eating well and exercising to keep your immune system as strong as possible. Great, those are some great tips. Thanks, Lynn. You're welcome.